Hello everyone and welcome to Philosophy 350 WI Philosophies of Sex and Love. Um, this is an eight-week summer course offered at Finlandia University completely online and I am Dr. Patricia Gross and I am the Assistant Professor of Philosophy at Finlandia University and I'm really excited to be with you for the next eight weeks to explore different ways of approaching the philosophies of sex and love. Like there's a lot of different ways to think about sex and love and we're going to be exploring them in this course. But in this first video, I just want to introduce you to the course, right? And what, what the course is going to look like for you, the student. So we're going to go ahead and review the syllabus, review the Canvas page. Um, and this video should help orient you to what we'll be up to in the coming weeks. Um, so I think... It might be good to start with, well, there's a syllabus here, but let's go ahead and look at the Canvas page. Right now, the Canvas page, this is my Canvas page, so you can kind of see how I've already set up a lot of stuff already, but um, obviously you can only see this first one. Um, I'm currently recording the video that's going to be found at this link right here. Uh, this is the video you're listening to, um, and right after I record this video, I'm actually going to record the week one and the week two lectures um, as well. So by the time probably that you listen to this, uh, to me talking, you, you'll be able to access, you know, all these lectures on your own time. Um, you'll see, let's look at the student view really quick. You'll see here, the student view, I'd like to be as simplified as possible, right? So, you know, you have this, this first one right here is how to write Dr. Gross an email. And this is a document that helps t teach you how to write me an email, right? I have a particular email policy. Um, I don't want you to send me an email that kind of looks like a text message. Um, so there's some links here that of like of things that you can look into of what I'm talking about when I want you to write me an email. Um, and we can talk more about what that looks like. But basically, dear Dr. Gross, and then your, the body of your email has to say something to the effect of what it is you're asking about. You'd be surprised how many emails I get where it's unclear what the student's asking, right? And I can't read minds and stuff like that, right? So I'd rather you write it correctly. Um, if you write me an email and it, and it doesn't follow this policy, I'm just going to ask you to send it back. Um, so you'll need to start with Dear Dr. Gross. You'll have to have a body of the email that includes a description of what you're asking, of what you've done to find the solution, um, like you've checked Syllabus, Canvas, Google, etc., um, and then have a clear question, right? Or even if it's just a help, a, a, like a call for help, you want to explain what it is you need help with. Um, or if it's something like you want to meet with me for office hours, that's great, uh, but give me some times that you want to meet with me. Um, and always like say, cheers your name. Um, it'd be nice if you included your last name so that I can find you easily. Um, in the summer course, there's so few of you that it's a lot easier to figure out who is who. But if you go by a different first name than that's on the list of the um, of the actual, uh, you know, of your official name on the, on Canvas, um, then just let me know and, and I can call you by your preferred name. Um, like my friends call me Trish, for example, not Patricia Gross. Um, but you can call me Dr. Gross. Okay, so this is again an online course, completely online. It's an eight-week course. Office hours are by appointment um, because it's online and everyone has different time periods. So I am available, but you'll just need to send me an email and then we can um, we can meet online. Basically, we can go on Google Hangouts and talk and like face to face kind of, or we can um, or we can chat. We can actually just G chat, which is well, I think it's called something else now, but you know what it is. It's basically a chat function. Um, so let's go back to the home page. This is what you can see so far. So you got that welcome, you know, the first thing in philosophies of sex and love. Um, there's the, the link to this video that you're watching right now, which is pretty trippy. Um, I know I sound really tired, but it's just because this, I realized that I haven't really spoken today yet. Um, it's my first time talking today, so I sound kind of like low affect, but I promise to try to be more exciting later. Um, you'll be able to see the slides for the course. Um, that's always going to be the first thing that's on the list, right? The slides themselves that I'm going to be using for our, uh, lectures, right? So if you, if you click on slides, you'll see it has 22 pages, right? Today's discussion is not 22 pages, right? Because the entire unit slides is on here and you should be able to see, you can't see it here. You should download the slides 
because the downloaded, the actual slides include lecture notes. So if we just click on a random thing, you'll see that these are the kinds of things I'm going to be saying during, uh, not the kinds of things, this is what I'm going to be saying during the actual lecture. Um, I probably will say more than just what's written here, but I've written out the notes to aid in your understanding of what's what I'm saying and what's going on. Um, so these are the slides for unit one, right? So make sure to download the slides. You can't see the the actual comments I see just right there. Um, and then you can see, okay, this is week one. These are the dates, right? This is an online asynchronous course. So the dates that things are due, you know, there's a deadline that things are due, but there's nothing that's due like at a, like you don't have to ever have a course, a class discussion at the same time, unless you guys really want to have a synchronous class discussion and you're, and we can make it work. You know, that's also possible. Um, so you have, for example, your reading for week one is here. You, the text that you have to buy, or you can check it out from the library if you have access to the Mackey Library, because there's a couple copies available at the Textbook Justice Library. It's called The New Philosophies of Sex and Love, Thinking Through Desire. Um, edited by Sarah Lachance Adams, Christopher Davidson, and Carolyn Lundquist. Um, I know that it's not easy to get this right away, especially considering Amazon and other places have a slower um, delivery date. So I've made the first two chapters of the text available on our course website. So you'll see really easily, uh, read this. Oh, this should be higher up. Okay, let me, I'll fix it. But basically it'll say something like, watch, read, listen, complete, right? Um, I can actually fix that. I can fix it, I swear. Let me leave. I mean, in some worlds, like this is the part where I cut the video, so I look very fancy, but I like having this. Okay, so the lecture for week one, you're going to see right there, right? You're going to click on that. You're going to listen to it. Um, you have your reading for week one, and I've included, so a lot of times it's just going to have like the reading without the link because obviously it's in the, in the book, right? Um, you're going to have, so it says read this, Watch this. I like it when there's a colon, so I'm going to go ahead and put a colon. So it's going to say, watch this, Love is Blind. So for this week, for example, you're watching Love is Blind, I'm going to talk about this in my next um, my next video that's about week one specifically. And then you'll have to complete the discussion board activities, right? And so you can see kind of everything is kind of laid out in the order that you need to do stuff. Um, and in the lectures, I will discuss the assignments for that week, right? So you can, you can head over to the lectures. You, you should listen to them every time. Basically, they're going to be links to my YouTube channel, and I'm going to put all these things on you, on the YouTube. Uh, so let's talk about the syllabus for this course. Oh, if you have any questions about Canvas, just let me know, and I will get to it as soon as possible. Right now, there's not any announcements. As I write this, as I say this specifically, like there's no announcements. As soon as I've completed this um, this lecture and I have it uploaded loaded onto YouTube, um, or this welcome rather is what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm going to be sending an announcement that actually has the link to the video. Uh, so I've been holding off the announcement. So you're going to see home, syllabus, announcements, discussions, and grades on your home page for this course. Um, if we just want to look at syllabus really quickly, the syllabus is here. I've copied and pasted it here, but the actual the actual P, you know, PDF of it or the, the document of it is here, right? Um, so you can click on this to see, and it will download it immediately so you can have the, the paper version. I'll send you guys an email with the syllabus attached. That's going to be on the welcome email. But let's go ahead and go over this, this syllabus together. So this is a 350 level philosophy course, and that means it's a topics course, right? I don't know why WI is not on this. Um, so this is the Philosophies of Sex and Love. It's going to be offered this summer, 2020. Here's my email address. That's how you can contact me. We just talked about my email policy. And now let's talk about, um, oh, I should change. I don't know why it doesn't. That's how embarrassing you just caught me out. Um, okay, so let's look at this. Um, here's the course description for this course, right? It's a topics course, so it's kind of like kind of general, right? So, but this course... Here's a description. Sex sells is an old marketing adage. The reasoning for this is said to be many. Endorphins, desire to reproduce, desire to be the kind of person the advertisement thinks of as having sex. But sex is complicated. An advertisement focused on sex is as likely to confuse the consumer rather than raise their lust for the product. This course is focused on sex and love, but does not seek to sell itself with its lascivious subject matter. Rather, this course seeks to philosophically develop and engage questions concerning human relationships between selves and others. 
We will investigate love, sex, desire, and the morality and importance of becoming enamored of any and all of these subjects. More specifically, we will discuss love between equals and unequals, desire, friendship, pornography, rape, reciprocity, sensuality, polyamory, etc. The problem of normativity will be a mainstay of class discussion, and thus there will be no class sessions entirely devoted to discussion of homosexuality or het- and heterosexuality. Rather, each class will seek to keep difference in the forefront of the discussion. The readings in this course are, in general, new, as in recently published. Well, this was, I mean, it was published in 2016, but when you look at, like, philosophical texts that are thousands of years old, it's pretty new, (laughs) relatively. Um, So these are recently, in general, new philosophical engagements with sex and love. And each reading itself is founded in the history of Western philosophy, from Plato to Beyonce. So here in the next section of the syllabus, you'll see our Finlandia institutional learning objectives. And every course has these goals, right? And I know students don't, you don't usually read this part, but I'm going to read this part to you because this is the goal of the course. So we want to, I want you to learn to identify and evaluate philosophical questions concerning sex and love through discussion boards and short essays. I want you to learn to express and analyze the arguments and theories presented by the text and relate them to current affairs and discussion um, in through discussion boards and short essays. Um, let's do through. Um, and I want you to learn to effectively evaluate your own opinions and uh, concerning the love and sex and course discussions. And I want you to learn to in- integrate the knowledge we gain from the readings in our course discussions as well. Um, so there's kind of like a general uh, goal goal for this course. The, as I said before, the required materials are new philosophies of sex and love, thinking through desire. Um, and then any other reading is going to be available via PDF. So the first couple weeks, which is just the book course text, right? I've, been, I've given you the, the actual PDFs because I know it's harder to get the text right now. But in, by week three, you should have it. But in week three, you actually have a reprieve from the text, right? Where we're going to be reading from a PDF, right? So all the PDFs that you're going to be watching are going to be available here, you know, on the course website when it's relevant, right? Week four is when you have another, when, when you'll definitely need to have the text, right? Um, and so, right, you're probably going to need to get a Netflix account, borrow a password or something like that in order to watch some of the stuff in this class, including in the first week. Um, course structure and contact hours are there. Uh, there's a blurb about writing intensive courses. As you know, this is a writing intensive course and writing is an essential component, is the essential component of this course. So much so that there are two great assessments in this class. There are the discussion boards and then there are the short essays. You have four short essays that's going to be doing, uh, do every other Friday starting next Friday. Like, so the Friday in, uh, week two, right? And the short essays are going to be responding to prompts related to every um, unit. Actually, if you're curious about the short essay for unit one, you can actually see it. I've already included it, so we're not going to discuss it till to ne- week two, but you can go ahead and click on it to see what it is, right? Um, and so we'll, we'll talk more about the short essays later, but the discussion boards, the prompt or the little like blurb for it is here on the syllabus. But what's really important is that there, there is to be no harassment in this class. It's perfectly fine to disagree with your colleagues, but you can't harass, disparage, and atta- or attack them. Repeated harassment will result in your failing of the course and being reported to um, the conduct board. Um, and I say this especially because this is uh, the topic matter we have is sex and love, and it's very complex. And, you know, people have different opinions, right? Um, the goal of this course is not to necessarily to change your opinion or make you all think like me. The goal of this course is to get you to actually think critically about the nature of sex and love. So we all come like kind of pre-installed with our opinions about the matter, right? Um, Maybe you haven't even thought about the nature of sex and love before. So in this course, we're going to be unpacking it, right? We're going to be thinking about like the very nature of sex and love um, through the next eight weeks. The grade, cor- the grade skill is here. By the way, I suggest that you, when you make your discussion board posts, you actually write them in a Word document because they can get lost easily. And, you know, you don't want to type it out in the, if you d- type out your replies in the discussion board and then your computer freezes, then you lost all your work and that's going to be really frustrating. So I really suggest that you write it in a Word document and then copy and paste it to the discussion boards. Um, short essays have to be in documents anyway. Uh, so let's talk about the schedule of assignments. You know, I reserve the right to change any of the assignments, you know, as I see fit, 
But, you know, the schedule of assignment should be pretty much this. And the nice thing about this is, so currently you guys can only see unit one on the Canvas page, right? But you can see what all of the readings and, and media are going to be for the next eight weeks. So you'll be able to tell, like, when things are due. See, the short essays are due these days. Every Friday is when... So every week you have your discussion boards. Usually one assignment's due kind of on Wednesday or Thursday, and the other and the response posts are going to be due on Friday, right? So that's something that you're going to have to, you know, keep track of, right? But also short essays are going to be due on Fridays as well. So everything's due on Fridays because, you know, it's the summer. You can have your weekend. But you can take any time to do the assignment, you know. Um, I do suggest you, you know, wait until you've done all the readings, of course, to do the assignments. Um, and so you can see here, unit one is what is love. Unit two, the origin love. A Greek interlude, uh, unit three on monsters and masturbation, uh, unit four, our body of lies, uh, and so, and, and whatnot. I love this little, isn't that, isn't that so adorable? The artists here are so amazing. Um, I've also got here a list of just suggested media examples that I've thrown up there, and, you know, they kind of grow over time. So uh, these are just relevant things that can be uh, helpful as you continue to learn about sex and love. Um, in your own time. So other policies, academic integrity, we'll talk more about when your essay is closer to being new, but no cheating. And you know, you know the drill, but we'll talk about it more about plagiarism more um, when we get to your essay. Academic support services, if you're having difficulties with the uh, course, you can definitely contact me or the TLC. Um, if you have a disability and you need some extra assistance on something, please let me know. Um, you know, there's this attendance policy that we have to say, um, but okay, so it, you have to do the work, right? That's what the attendance policy means. It's, there's barely anything. Um, uh, so this is an online class that has an online attendance policy. Comfort zone, um, you know, if you ever come across some materials that you find difficult to work with, please let me know. But uh, just because it's challenging doesn't mean I'm going to automatically give you a pass, but I can... If it's really troubling you, then it's something that we can work on together and I can give you an alternative assignment. Um, communication, you've got my email address already, dropping the drawing, normal stuff. Um, equal opportunity harassment non-discrimination policy, Title IX or equity policy is here. Um, grade questions, you always, well, I mean, the thing about online is you're going to email me anyway. It's always good to have a paper trail. In general, I don't accept late work, but if you know there's going to be a week by looking at this document, right? If you know there's going to be a week that you're not going to be able to attend, just, just let me know. Um, I think that's it for this first video. This is just an introduction. Uh, one more time, welcome to the course. If you want to send me an email to say hi, that would be awesome. And I'm really looking forward to this time that we have together to discuss the nature of what love is. Um, all right, that's it. Goodbye.